If what's about to happen is about to happen, it better not. Hi. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvit and today I'd like to play a game called Encounter. Another day of working overtime finally over. I'm starving. Today was busy. I didn't even get time to have lunch. I feel a migraine coming, and I need to eat something quick. Alright, what can I make? There is no food. Are you kidding me? I need to buy something. I can't skip another meal. I need to go to the closest store. It's only a 15 minute walk. I'll be fine. Why do I have a feeling that you won't be fine? Wow, the store's super empty. I guess it makes sense. It's really late right now. I should be in bed. I have work in the morning. But you have to eat, and that is important, says the person who frequently forgets to eat. From the corner of my eye, I see an employee watching me. Oh, hello. You are very close to me! His eyes don't leave, even after meeting mine. Hey, buddy. Having enough with the staring contest, I approach him. Uh, is... is everything okay? Got a staring problem? The man grins. Where do I know this guy from? You don't remember me, do you? I don't think so. Which is what I say to most people, because I have a really bad memory and I don't remember most of the people I grew up with. The man hums. Jeremy. Jeremy Breyer. Ring any bells? Wait. No way. From high school? Aww. Mm-hmm. Now you remember me. Jeremy Breyer, the school punching bag. Aww. Man, if anyone in that school is treated like crap, it'd be him. I think I worked on a school project with him once. He was a pretty bright kid. A weird one, too, actually. He didn't get bullied for no reason. You gotta... What... What is that on your neck? One day, he just disappeared. Apparently, he got in a fight with a couple of guys, gave him a nasty scar on his neck. Oh. Though, I wouldn't know if any of this was true unless... My eyes land on the very noticeable scar on his neck, just like the rumors. The scar's pretty eye-catching. Hmm. A bit. A bit. Yeah, a bit. Not gonna lie, a bit. <laughs> I know, right? Everyone keeps pitying me because of it. Kinda sucks. How so? This will sound a bit stupid, but I'm honestly kinda tired of people telling me it's practically invisible, you know? Cause it isn't. I'm the one who has to live with it, so I'd know. <laughs> Plus, it isn't something I'm ashamed of. I got this little guy doing something I don't think I'll ever regret. Yes, your battle scars! So, you don't regret getting beat up by a bunch of bullies in high school? So, you know the story then, huh? Everyone does. It was the only thing people talked about for a week straight. Hmm. Why, why, did, why did you disappear? Why did you vanish? Anyways, what brings you here at such a late hour? I ran out of food at home. I forgot how long it's been since I went shopping. And you walked all the way here? Yeah? No need to sound so defensive. I guess you get a bit angry when you're hungry. <laughs> Have a Snickers. Don't worry, I do too. So, how's everyone from high school doing? Did anyone move away? I wouldn't know. I don't really talk to anyone I met there anymore. Oh, really? I don't blame you. If I'm honest, everyone from school kind of made me mad. Not you, though. You are the only person who treated me like a human being. <laughs> uh, I'd assume you, he was a little sweetheart. You treated me pretty well yourself. Only the best for you. I raise a brow. For me only? <laughs> he doesn't answer. Jeremy. I got everything I needed. I can finally eat something. All done, are we? Yeah, all done. Quickly, Jeremy scans all the items. It was nice talking to you. 
As I'm about to leave, I notice a sad-looking tip jar. It's completely empty. I have cash on me, so why not? Jeremy watches me curiously as I walk back to the cash register. I pull out five bucks from my wallet and stuff it into the jar. Thanks for keeping me company today. You're pretty cool. In a cute little scrunkly way. Hey, you don't have to do that. You're making me blush. I shake my head. Keep it. You've made my day ten times better. I was starving and I was walking alone at night and then I see you and your glorious smile. Jeremy goes quiet for a moment, looking like he's contemplating something. He pulls out his phone from his pocket, opening his contacts and handing it to me. Hey, can I get your number? Sure, why not? Sure, he seems like a little sweetheart. And I like seeing old friends from high school. Thanks, I'm not a dry texter, promise. Jeremy and I have been texting for two months straight. Recently, we started calling instead. He's great company. He sounds like a sweet little lad. Ever since our first encounter, I've been making an effort to go to that store more often. Ending three. Congrats, he loved your company, and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Jeremy, is that a promise or a threat, sweetheart? What if I say the thing he hates like, nope, it's super invisible. I wasn't staring directly at it the, the second I saw you. <laughs> oh, really? Because last time I checked, you were the one staring at it a minute ago. Yeah, I was. By the way, I realize that I have a large mole on my face. Where? <laughs> what? Or maybe he disappeared for a while because that was like a near-fatal wound. That close to your neck? Ooh, that, that can't be good. I was just trying to be nice. Nice. Alright. Anyways, what brings you here at such a late hour? I guess I could be mean to him this playthrough. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go look for food now. Well, of course you are. That's what you came here to do. <laughs> so how's everyone from high school doing? Did anyone move away? I'm completely ignoring the fact that I'm ravenous! Not you, though. You are the only person who treated me like a human being. <laughs> what if I say, uh... I think you're overreacting. Yeah, sure. Jeremy is oddly quiet for a few minutes. I'm so sorry, Jeremy. You are a sweet baby. I got everything I needed, and I can finally eat something. It was nice talking to you. It's been a month since I walked out of that store. It's been a month since I've ever felt alone. No matter what I do, I feel like I'm being watched. I don't know by who. I don't know why. Jeremy! People keep telling me I'm hallucinating, but this isn't it. This is real. Very real. Oh, oh no. Oh dear, oh no. Ending one. You don't act the way he remembers. He'll keep an eye on you for now. Jeremy! The scar's pretty eye-catching, huh? Yeah, sure. Hmm, long day? Same as usual. Anyways, what brings you here at such a late hour? I ran out of food because I, I work too hard and I don't know how to take care of myself. And you walked all the way here? Yeah, I did. Walking at night is pretty relaxing. I do that too sometimes. Yeah, I guess it is nice, but I was too hungry to appreciate it. Just because you didn't have supper? I didn't have lunch either. I was, I was just about to say that, and then the character said that. Didn't have lunch either. That's really bad. Aw, why not? Work. I was too busy to eat. Plus, I got home late today. Alright. Don't do that often, though. You shouldn't let work give you unhealthy habits. Not you, though. You are the only person who treated me like a human being. <laughs> okay... Like, that's kind of weird, Jeremy. Calm down. I was just complimenting you. Does this guy ever shut up? I mean, he is being a little bit talky, but... He hasn't seen you in a while, and he seems like a sweet, lonely boy. Quickly, Jeremy scans all the items. It was nice talking to you. Hurry back home now. I'll give you a heads... 
I'll give you a head start. I get to her butt. Sir? What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, creep? I leave the store without giving Jeremy a second glance. Eep. Yes? I hear footsteps coming from behind me. They're quick. Jeremy? If what's about to happen is about to happen, it better not. Turn around. Oh, okay. Oof. Jeremy, why have you left your post? Hi. What the heck? Why are you here? Man, what a letdown. I gave you a head start and I still cut up to you. Well, I guess this is fate. What the heck are you talking about? Jeremy watches me for a moment, looking disgusted. Uh-oh. What happened to you? Okay, this creep is really starting to make me mad. Sir, I've got some hands if, if you would like if you would like a couple of them. Now, now hold on, you are a sweet baby, but do not do not be rude. Do not do any things that I think you're about to do. What happened to me is that I came to your gosh darn store to buy some food because I'm hungry, and you won't leave me alone, even after I finally get away from you. Jeremy is unfazed. You're sick, aren't you? I'll fix you. I swear. Jeremy grabs something red from his pocket. Jeremy! It's a pocket knife. Jeremy! He holds me by the shoulder tightly, holding the knife to my neck. You've been around too many bad influences. They've done something to you. Come with me. I'll make you better again. You managed to tick off the only person that actually liked you in high school. Aww. Hey, can I get your number? No, no. It's not you, it's just I don't want to connect with anybody from my high school in this playthrough. <laughs> I want to leave all that behind me. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Have a good night. Ending. No mercy. Sorry, I'm not into greasy dudes. Oh no, I, I am very into greasy dudes. It's just I don't want to re be reminded of my high school. My high school wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad. I think that's all I can do. I think that's all four endings, but let me know if I missed anything because I, I'm starting, Jeremy's starting to grow on me. He's a cute little sweet scrunkly. Aside from, you know, pulling a pocket knife on me, Jeremy. But as always, there will be a link in the description so you can check out this game for yourself or follow the developer to see if they add anything more to it because I, I'm actually kind of interested in this story. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments, so you can, you can put them down there and I'll read them. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope. <laughs>